Yeah, uh, just got didn't I didn't mention on the other video is in one of the slightly outer suburbs of Melbourne Metro towards the northern area. They're building uh, what do you call it, a prison camp, quarantine camp, whatever. There's I think they're modelling it after Howard Drink Howard Springs. In Northern Territory, there's I think they're modeling it similar to like that one where it's going to be up to like up to hold up to 3,000 people who basically are going to be forced to stay there, they can't leave. Uh, all the people who who work there can't leave, they've got to be double, uh, double jabbed and isolated. They basically spend their time in the camp. Yeah, but the the residents were set in divided into divided into sections, which can hold up to three thousand people for their quarantine prison camps. Um, some people have called them death camps. There's one getting built in Queensland, um, into the to the east of Brisbane. I think New South Wales is planning on building one. And Melbourne's building one in one of its northern suburbs. You can actually look it up on. You can even Google it. So if you Google um, you know, your local state thing, like for example Victoria or New South Wales or Queensland, quarantine, like quarantine centre Victoria, quarantine centre New South Wales, quarantine centre Brisbane, uh, Queensland. You'll, or something like that. You'll see their, where they're building them and how many beds they're planning on for uh, bodies they're planning on keeping there. Um, it's on their state, each of your respective state government um, websites. Yeah, so they're basically going to be for the unquarantined. So not the quarantined people, but for the un uh, sorry, un sorry, unquarantined. The unvaccinated. Sorry, I'm not a slip of the tongue. It's got, they're going to be for the unvaccinated people. So, and they say it's going to be for return travellers, but mainly it's going to be for unvaccinated. Because once the um, you get your number up, you know, like all the double jab number they want, then the non-jab people will, will have to be isolated, according to the government um, plans. Uh, you know they they they're not allowed to leave home. They can't leave home, and unquarantined people obviously they've got to go into these prison camps that the each of their respective state governments are building. So if you look up your local state government, like Victorian quarantine camps or New South Wales um, quarantine centre or you know, Queensland quarantine centre. You know, you can, you'll see them up, but you can just Google it, you'll see it. Um, yeah, so it's basically, you don't leave. You, they, the unvaccinated people need to stay there. They can't leave. The people who work there, has, you know, I think they have to live according to the document that the government printed out, the video and so forth. They have to be within the local area. Then they have to be double vaccinated and they have to stay in the area. They can't leave for the eight hour shift they work there. And they do their five days a week, seven days a week, whatever it is, I don't know. But they're being but the people can't um, freely move. The the residents, they can't freely move. They'll be in their different sections and they stay there for how long permanently? How long do the people stay in prison camps? I don't know. It hasn't been stipulated for how long they're going to stay there. Because remember, they're unvaccinated. Unvaccinated people, according to the government laws, will not be allowed, allowed to leave home. They will not be allowed in public. So if you're coming to Victoria as an unvaccinated, just know that you're not allowed to participate in the normal things of free society you'll have to stay at home 
that will be the Daniel Andrews, that's even from the words of Daniel Andrews, that, you know, if you're unvaccinated, you have to stay at home. You can't participate in the, the activities of the double vaccinated people. They've got the freedoms. Unvaccinated people, you won't have the freedoms. That's why he wants people to get double jabbed so they will have the freedoms. So, yeah, it's the local state governments, Victoria, Queensland, I believe also New South Wales, uh, building their own prison slash quarantine camps for the unvaccinated and return travellers. And like I say, unvaccinated people cannot participate in normal society in Melbourne Metro under the, the plan Daniel Andrews law once it gets up to 70 to 70% or 80% vaccinated, fully vaccinated. There is some protest who people who don't want to be vaccinated, but they're cracking down very hard on them with a lot of police officers. What the future holds? That one can't be answered at the moment.